Hello, just too good here, back with another video, and today we're reviewing set number 75915. It's the LEGO Jurassic World 2015 set. It's called the Pteranodon Capture. It has 174 pieces, two minifigures, one dinosaur, and retails for $20 in the United States. I got this from Toys R Us.com when they had it up for a brief time. Now let's take a look at the dinosaur first. So here is the Tyranodon, and while he isn't using any new molds, uh, he uses actually the 2012 system of dinosaur molds, uh, his design is actually new in terms of the coloring and everything like that. So that's pretty interesting because it has more of a realistic tone, I guess, than, say, the 2012 dino line, in my opinion. And it matches the look in the film, uh, just from what I've seen in the trailers. But you got some nice printing on the face right there, which uh, came out pretty cool. I like how that came out. And then these wings have this really nice black blend of colors where you have this dark red kind of blending into the gray. The wing actual material is a very kind of soft plastic. It's interesting on how that came out. And those just clip to the sides like that. And that means you can move them up and down and pretty far up and down, which is pretty cool. And the whole design of it is actually made out of five pieces. You have this body part in the middle. Then you have this face, kind of upper face part, uh, which connects through those little pins right there. Then you have this mouth part, which connects actually as a rod inside the face part and the body part. And you could actually move it up and down just a little bit and a little bit around because it is a rubber piece. And then the mouth, you could move up and down um, quite a bit, which is pretty cool. And then for the wings, you know, like I said, it's a kind of a softer plastic that you can move up and down. And then the middle body part is kind of this hard plastic, uh, which also has these talons in the back, uh, which, you know, can receive rods from a uh, Lego. So you could kind of stick a rod on there or make it carry something. So that's kind of interesting all in this design. So one last look at this sucker. Love the blending of the plastic on the wings. And now let's go on to the minifigures included in this set. So here is Simon, and this is actually probably the minifigure that I was most excited about to get in this whole line. I love the design of the minifigure in his torso, but my favorite part is kind of the skin coloring because we don't really get many minifigures in this flesh kind of tan color, which is very interesting on how that came out. And it is a totally new design for his face print. So if you take off his hair, which is very cool to get that spiked hair in black, which we've gotten a few times, but it's still nice to get that in that color in, you know, cheaper sets. And on his back design, you can see he does have kind of a more scared face, which looks really cool in its design. Uh, that's it for this minifigure, and now let's go on to the next. So here you got an ACU kind of member with a tranquilizer gun. Pretty interesting on how that came out because it does use this, this little guard piece or this body piece in the middle, which I do like how that came out. And it does come in a few other sets in uh, the whole line in general, but his face print is nothing new. It's actually the screaming face from uh, the Gorilla Grodd Goes Banana set from this year. And if you take that off, uh, you can actually see his torso print is that design that we get in many sets throughout the theme. Uh, so now on to the build itself. Here is the Tyranodon Capture Chopper or Helicopter, and it's an all right design for the $20 price point. I like the use of the dark blue pieces, of course, which is really found throughout this Jurassic World line. You can see it uses a lot of stickers like the Jurassic World logo right there with some scratches, JW001. Also a sticker that kind of reflects that, but with some little scuff marks or scratch marks right there from a dino. That same sticker is also found on this side with the Jurassic World logo. And there are some pretty, I guess, uh, you know, not unique, but uh, decent play features found on this vehicle. You got this little turbine right here, which is nice to get that turbine in a cheap set on the market right now. And it does have a sticker on the side right there, but uh, it is on a ball joint, so you can kind of position it in different ways. And you might want to do that because the main play feature with that is that you push on this little part back here and you capture it to Pteranodon. So you just kind of have to shoot it at the Pteranodon. And bam, there you go. You kind of simulate your capture of it like that. So you got to use your imagination, but still pretty neat little feature. And I do like that it's on a ball joint, a mini ball joint, so you can get a little bit more, uh, I guess, posability with that. And on the other side, there's actually this little turret, I guess you could say, uh, where it's a seat that you could fit the ACU member on or any really mini figure. But it's best to put the ACU member who is kind of kind of shooting to uh, tranquilize the Pteranodon. And you have the little stud shooter right here, which you know works like any other stud shooter. You just push down on here and it shoots the stud. And it is on this little pivot right here so you can move it up and down, uh, which works pretty nice. And the cool part right here is that you could actually fold it to hide the stud shooter. 
And once you fold it, you can see it does have some stickers right there with the pteranodon kind of on this DNA type screen and also the stud shooter right there so you can unravel it and open it up again. My only complaint is a pretty big complaint and it's that this inside right here, you can't actually fit a minifigure in there pretty tight. You gotta stuff them in there like this. And it just doesn't look right. And once you do that, you can't really fit this stud shooter back in. So I wish there would have been a little bit more room in the inside. I know it's a $20 set, but I don't know. It just is very cramped in there. And other than that, you do have this front area right here where you could sit one minifigure. Probably you'll put Simon in there. But uh, on there, you got that little printed uh, tile on the front, which we've seen in many sets before, and these two little uh, antenna pieces to kind of control the helicopter by using your imagination, of course. And then like all helicopters, it has these spinning rotors on the top right here, uh, which work just fine. And also you do have this bottom part, which has that sled piece or sled frame piece, as I call it, uh, which is a little bit more uncommon with sets nowadays. So it's nice to get that in a $20 set. So that is it for the helicopter included in this set. And now let's go on to the final verdict. Or let's take a look at the box first. And then here's the box for a set. Love that design on the background right there. That's actually a really cool design. And the back, and you do get one instruction booklet, which does show that pretty cool little comic book in the back, which I thought was a nice little uh, artistic feature that you can see right here. So that came out pretty nice. So now let's go on to the final verdict. So overall, the Tyrannodon Capture is a pretty nice addition to the Jurassic World lineup. You get some pretty nice things in this set. I love the Tyrannodon, and really, you can't get any Tyrannodons. It's such a cheap set on the market currently, and this version is exclusive to the set in its printing, so that's a very well-done little dino there. The two minifigures are pretty cool. Um, at least one, the ACU one's pretty cool. The one that really stands out is Simon. I love that minifigure. Love the coloring on him especially, because like I said, it's very kind of, um, I guess, uncommon to get that kind of tan color on minifigures, and it looks great. And... I do hope they do more with that, and also his face print and his torso prints are exclusive as far as I could tell, and that's really cool. The main weakness, I guess, is the main build of the set, which is the little chopper helicopter, uh, which honestly, it is a pretty decent uh, sized one uh, for this theme, or for this specific set in its price. My only problem is that the inside you really can't play around with. It's a very small little inside and you can barely fit a minifigure in there. You really got to stuff it inside there. Uh, the front area is fine. And you do get some cool pieces like the turbine piece and this little windshield right here. Uh, but I think it would have been cool if it had a more, I guess, unique play feature instead of just shooting the nets and shooting this little stud shooter. Uh, but it is nice that you can make it a little bit more compact by pushing these things in. But other than that, I do rate this set a B. I think I love the Simon minifigure and the Tyranodon. But I don't know if it totally justifies the price due to the lack of kind of an interesting build with that little helicopter right there. So that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.